311. Okay. 311 CFM. What, what lift that was that at? Low. Uh, it kind of stalled there from 700 to 8. It's right there. It doesn't really increase anymore. Okay. So we're, that's basically a choke flow. So to give you an idea of how small these ports are, the amount of clay that Mike gave me at the beginning was for a stock LS port, and I had to take a couple chunks of that clay out and completely resize this thing. So these heads are kind of small. A refresher? Vaguely, yeah. When you get really close to here, you, you don't want to be within 2% of this. Because it'll pop out and it'll shoot out, and then you'll lose some fluid and you'll have to re zero. Yep. Okay. So, <clears throat> the other thing is, so that means you at lower lifts will flow at a different range. But right now, yep. I got it on five. I'm just gonna see where we're at percent wise at 500. Can you give me a reference? So, where'd you so end up at? 70%. So, we're going to do 70% times 444. See where we're at. 311. Okay. 311 CFM. What, what lift that was that at? Low. Uh, it kind of stalled there from 700 to 8. It's right there. It doesn't really increase anymore. Okay. So, we're, that's. Basically a choke flow. Yeah. Three, oh. three ten. That ain't. That ain't a lot. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you can document it. Yeah. So let's back it down to flow range four. Shoot. So this is something that Mike actually pointed out to me earlier. You can see, right there in that port it's kind of hard to see with the gopro but that that's actually an as cast section of the port so this thing is this port is actually super tiny for what this head is capable of um so it i mean the port is basically as small as it can get right now uh, which is a little bit depressing but we're gonna flow it anyway just to see what it actually does
another key difference to these heads that you'll see um, it's actually it's hard to see but the short turn height which is this surface here leading down into the intake valve is much wider on these open heads so there you can see most of the valve guide um, and if we get get the right light you can see almost all the way up to the valve restrictor plate heads not quite so much there's there's a lot more material still left in the head there which is basically raising the port up um, to also get a more direct path down to the valve um, <clears throat> just helps in keeping velocity up at the valve um, but when you need the flow you have to open up the cross-sectional height um, to keep your flow up so that's another big difference between these heads so I drew this diagram quick just to kind of illustrate the differences between restrictor plate port and the open port that I was trying to show you on the heads um, but it's kind of hard to see in the head so I figured I'd just do like a cross-sectional view um, on the left you have a restrictor plate port and on the right you have um, what they would call an open port and basically open port's going to flow much more air it's open carburetor rule there's no restrictor plate restrictor plate port you don't need as big of a restrict or you don't need as big of a intake runner because you can only flow so much air through the tiny restrictor plate holes so there otherwise you're just going to create a lot of vacuum back here behind your restrictor plate um, and both of these heads so they're the same same casting and the look at the same deck and then the roof port height is the same on both of them because that there's a, a nascar mandated rule that says that it has to be you can only be so high right but the vast difference is oops the vast difference in this is what's called this short turn height and your basically your transition from up here to down here so you're with the open port you have to lower the floor to get actually get the cross section to flow more air but what you're sacrificing is basically you're lowering this your radius to create your short turn here so your air is going to come in this way and flow off it's going to come separated from this area right here and it's going to flow off this way and kind of get you know there, there's not going to be a lot of flow right here Whereas with your restrictor plate port, you've got a nice gradual slide down and it, the air stays hugging this edge and then it flows past the valve right there. You also gain a lot of velocity in here because your air is not getting turbulent as it's coming off of the short turn like it is over here. So in a nutshell, that's really the difference between restrictor plate ports and open ports. Um, and ultimately, we're going to go with the open port head. Uh, just because it's going to flow drastically more air. Um, the restrictor plate port flowed like 304 CFM at 600 thousandths of lift. The open port was like 370 or 375 at 650 or 700 thousandths of lift. So it's, it's a drastic difference. Real road terms, that's like 150 horsepower that we're adding just by swapping the cylinder heads so that's what i'm going to do um but i hope that kind of just at least lays out uh what what goes into this decision Darrell walters hauler over there truck in that garage bunch of bunch of old cup cars here 